Okay, so today we're going to be making cyclopentanone. Uh, this is going to be made through a catalytic decarboxylation reaction. So that means the two acids right here are going to be, um, on the dipic acid, are going to be reacted with the barium hydroxide uh, to form a ring. That's what a catalytic decarboxylation is. We're going to be left with tar. So we are making this in our quest to make cubane uh, and make hopefully perfluorocubane and a, a few other exotic cubanes. Uh, you know, maybe take a crack at some energetics or you know something special there. We'll be doing a simple distillation here. Uh, it'll be a dry distillation at quite a high temperature. So we're going to need to heat this very slowly because we are going to get water out of this, so it should be plus 2 H2O there. So we're going to get a little bit of water out of this, so right around 100 degrees, we're going to boil off some water. If we heat it too quickly, we might sublime off some of the mixture, uh, and also the water will start to reflux down and start to bump the mixture, so we don't want that. So it's quite a long distillation, it's just, it just drags on forever. Uh, so I'm expecting, you know, four or five hour distillation, uh, mostly just because we're heating it to the temperature and then itself, it doesn't distill over that quickly. So we are going to be going quite slow and the actual cyclopentanone will start coming over at about 290, 295. This is going to be very finicky and annoying and you're going to have to watch it the whole time because if you go over 300 degrees, it's a little bit of wiggle room there because I'm going to extend my column. Um, you will start to get a dipic acid coming over and it will condense right in the whole the start of the condenser and it will clog your condenser and you know that's a bomb so we'll try to avoid blowing anything up and we'll get to it So we just begun a little bit ago. Our mixture is beginning to melt in the bottom. I threw a second temperature probe around down onto the heating mantle. There is the first one in the actual mixture. We don't want the heating mantle to initially get too hot because we don't want to sublime off any of the material. And we don't want the mixture to get too hot yet either or else it will bump pretty badly. What we're going to try to do is carry this gently up to about 100 degrees and our water will start coming off. You'll, you'll be able to see a little bit of condensation on the flask already um, and then we'll bring it up to uh, 290 to 295. Okay we've just got about everything uh, melted and boiling nicely. I'm just cranking up the temperature just very delicately making our way to that 290 295 mark. That I believe just disappeared. Yep. It doesn't. It doesn't look too bad. It's not uh, boiling that much. So I guess you know I lucked out on my uh, on the quality of what I ordered, which is good. <laughs> so I just got the adipic acid off of Amazon. So. Okay, we are at temperature here, finally. Took a couple of hours, actually. 
Um, it's very finicky to try and hold it at this temperature and the adipic acid can very easily come over. You can see some on that line right there. We did get some right there, but not too much. So that's why I, um, I've extended this column a little bit. My regular reflux condenser will not fit in this space. So I just figured, you know, add a little extra something just to get a little extra reflux to try and beat that adipic acid right back down because it's going to come over with our cyclopentanone no matter what we do, but I just want to minimize it. We are done here and I've got about 180 milliliters of crude cyclopentanone. We're going to need to salt this out to get rid of the adipic acid. We're going to do that with uh, potassium hydroxide probably. And then we will separate it in a funnel, redistill it. I'm going to do that closer to when I'm doing my next step. So I have a few things to do before this. I'm actually going to do another distillation and hopefully get double this. Uh, this is actually really nice. It didn't get much adipic acid coming over um, and it's relatively clear. It didn't yellow off too bad. So obviously I didn't overcook it, which is good. After this, we're gonna have to purify some toluene and some sulfuric acid because we are going to need to take those to react with this and put a protecting group right here so we can do the rest of our reaction. Thank you for watching. As always, please comment, like, and subscribe to follow along with the journey. Hopefully we do well. Hopefully we make something that resembles this. You know, we'll see. We'll give it a try. And we'll see you guys later.